Somebody booked on VRBO. Somebody booked on Airbnb. I don't know how this happened. Guys, I am so stressed out right now. We just had guests check out. They left the place a disaster. Cleaners are there cleaning right now. I don't know how this happened, but we just got double booked. Somebody booked on VRBO. Somebody booked on Airbnb. I don't know how this happened. And this is all because our calendars didn't sync between Logify, VRBO, and Airbnb. So now I need to figure out who I can contact at Logify to make sure this doesn't happen again. And maybe this is a lesson out there to everybody. <laughs> make sure your calendars are always synced. Not only did we have the double booking, we also had like maybe our second worst guess in 15 months, we've only had three not great guests. Uh, this week being some of those guests just without they left the house. But all the carpets were like pulled up and either they didn't want the dog to pee on them or the dog peed on them and they were hiding it. I don't really know what was happening. There was a lot of weird stuff that happened. But on top of that, our cleaners just sent us a photo. Obviously they set something really hot on the coffee table and now there is white burn mark on the coffee table. Essentially what happened was we forgot to film it <laughs> in the moment because, because we were stressed the heck out. Yeah, and so we wanted to fill you in on what happened after. What got messed up was Verbo didn't connect through Logify and people were able to book Two, simultaneously two days and they were booked so far out in advance that we didn't recognize that there was a double booking until two days before yeah which was horrible that's why we felt so bad we yeah. were like wait how did this happen because we've had a ton of bookings mm -hmm. in march and into april so it just got lost in the mix yeah so the only thing we could think to do is we had to contact one of the groups um and we told them like hey we are insanely sorry, but we need to like cancel your reservation, but we will give you a free stay, a free night at our house at the day of your choosing. You can look at our calendar mm -hmm. because we feel so bad. This is 100% our mistake. Yeah, and so basically what I did was sent them um, our email, like however I could, because you can't really send your email through those platforms. Yeah, you gotta like space out the letters. <laughs> yeah, so I did that and they emailed me the next yeah. day and they were very appreciative yeah. of the and they were stay. They were excited that they get a, they got a free stay out of it. So. Yeah, and they, they had friends that couldn't come with them so they were able to have them come this next time. So yeah. it all worked out, but in the moment we were yeah. freaking out. Like it, that is yeah. worst case scenario. We didn't want to like ruin our like rating or get like a horrible review or have like the algorithm knock us down and just hurting someone's feelings it's raining outside so we're going inside <laughs> but we figured out that this double booking happened and we were dealing with that and our cleaners started texting us about how horrible the house was left after our last guest so that was fun this was the day that and the reason that i said i was so stressed out was because this was the day that we had the double booking we also had these guests checking out and the cleaners were there and they were texting us like they won't leave yeah they wouldn't leave and they were just hanging out but they booked through our direct booking website so we were already kind of like worried you don't have like a big company backing you up you are on your own basically when you're directly booked and we had a damage deposit and all that stuff but basically what happened is they messaged us like 15 minutes or 30 minutes after they checked in they said they found a pair of dirty underwear and they sent us a picture of the guy holding it. It was a couple of the guy holding it with but his finger. he was finger. holding it very oddly sexually. And I was like, this, this feels odd to me. Hold on. That's actually Airbnb. Yeah, the guy was holding it weirdly. And we were like, why would you be holding the underwear? If, if they really were somebody else's dirty underwear, why would you be holding them with your bare finger? And um, not just take a photo of wherever they were. Yeah. So immediately I was thinking, I was like, okay, 
are they trying to get a discount? What's going on? Because this text said, how are we gonna like rectify the situation? 100%, if we did something wrong, you know, no problem, guest is always, always you know. Kind of, depends. Yeah. We text our cleaners. We text our cleaners and they were like, there's no way we missed like a pair of underwear somewhere. They send us photos under the bed, they send us photos all over. So we yeah. asked them where specifically they found the underwear and because yeah. we have our cleaners send us photos, thorough photos all over the house. Mm -hmm. And they never responded. Yeah. So we were like, okay. Yeah. Because we asked for clarity, they didn't respond. Yeah. So it was weird because I was like, if you can tell us where you found the underwear, like we apologize. You know, we've had five stars for like over a year now. And where did you find this? And they just didn't respond the entire time. So we never said anything back either. They, so we were, they completed their stay and we're like, let's just get them out of there. Let's get the house clean and move on with our day because it's sometimes it's not worth your energy and your like mental sanity to deal with people that just want to bring you down or just want money out of you or to be right or something like that. And so we were just like trying to keep our own peace and move on. So we did. Yeah. Nothing came about of the situation after. Yeah. In our bar room, we put two chairs at the table. If you notice, as we noticed when we started taking photos again and started like reassessing the house, don't really match. No. And so our solution for that is to match the other side with the bench that we made. So I am making another bench now. Um, it's really cool because our friend Kyle, we've had out a bunch, actually just like kind of did this with the board that we had. And now this is the third one that we've made. Yeah. It's just an eight foot board, a two by eight board. And then you cut two legs, cut two legs out of it. We go like this, we'll cut this off. It'll be the other leg. And then you put a support in the middle and then you stain it or sand it and stain it. It's a bench. What are you doing? Filming you, but holding it at the same time. At the same. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's the top. And we'll sand this off. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I like it better than this side. You have to mark this side, too. Yeah, because I need to pre-drill holes. So we can sink the heads of the holes and cover them. With the putty? I only did two, right? Or three. It's probably three. When you drill into wood, it'll split. But if you pre-drill a hole, it doesn't. The wood doesn't split. Huh. So it's always best to do this first before you like go straight into the wood. Mark how deep you go, so when you hit it, you stop. I need longer screws. Woohoo! Let there be bench. Surprise! It's 11 p.m. on Friday. We are heading out to La Quinta because we have a photo shoot in the morning in Yucca Valley at a different Airbnb. And our house is being rented all weekend. Long story long, it's late as shit and we are in Morongo getting gas. I'm gonna go home and go to sleep. It's 40 degrees outside. Oh. Oh. It's cold out there. It's not that cold. It's, I saw you bouncing around. It's not that cold. The wind chill factor. 
All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Great rising. We're back in the desert. I'm heading to Yucca Valley for a photo shoot at a different Airbnb. There is a like photo group retreat happening and we were asked to do the morning shift of their day long photo shoot. We're, no, she's being, she's being what's modest. We are the models today. We're modeling today. We're modeling today. Just showing our love. Why you know? us? I don't know. Just photo shoots and things. Just kidding. I'm also very excited because we are going to this Airbnb, which I've always thought was lovely. I've always thought it was done very beautifully and it's like big and can hold a lot of people for like retreats. So I've always wanted to see what those, one of those Airbnbs is like in Joshua Tree. And I think it'll be nice so that we can see what another a more upscale Airbnb is it's like. like yeah, there, and yeah. what they do and all that stuff. Like it's been one of the things I've wanted to do is like, go to other Airbnbs in the Joshua Tree area, just see what other people are doing. Last time I think we went to another Airbnb was when we stayed at La Luna Cabin. Before we bought our house. Yeah, and that's in Western Hills, which is beautiful. So always cool to, you know, not even scout the competition. That's not the right term we would use. I think just see what other people are doing and learn from them and as people have learned from us on our YouTube channel. So that's always nice. Students of life. Yes. And then. And then. Then we're gonna go to the, our house. Because why? After the shoot, we have guests actually checking out of our house today at 11. So our cleaners will be there. We are going to stop by. We really haven't talked to them in talked person. Talked to them, yeah, since we hired them. <laughs> like, we've done FaceTimes. We've, you know, talked on the phone, yeah. emailed, text. So we have not physically seen them in probably almost a year. Yeah. So we need to go and like have a check-in and just chat. And I'm excited. Worried the pool maintenance people probably think we're annoying because we're like, hey, did you go? We never got photos to confirm. So it's very hard to trust the situation. Um, so we're especially, gonna go check it out. Especially when it comes to short-term rentals. It's like, we understand that you deal with a lot of bad stuff but at the same time, like we're paying you. So we'd like, like some confirmation. We just want confirmation that it was clean so our, we can have uh, like peace of mind knowing that our next guest is gonna have a clean hot tub. Like that's that's all I care about. Yeah, and our cleaners can only know so much yeah. about it. We've had a week, you guys. It's been a lot. There has been a double booking. We've had possibly the worst guests we've ever had. Lots of crazy has happened. We've kept our cool, we as in Michael, but we'll catch you up on that a little bit later. Let's have some fun this morning. the moment of truth, right? No. Nope. After the photo shoot, we came and checked up on the house and added a few things, another Joshua Tree coffee. We got to say hi to our cleaner and then I switched out the bathroom liner in the shower and we are on to the next. We just went to the house I and- I scattered footage today for you. Yeah, sorry it's, if it's a little all over the place, but we just went to the house and I changed out the shower curtain because it was looking really rough and I usually change that out about every three months 
maybe sooner. I bought new makeup wipes, so I put those in and we got to say hi to our cleaner. Just got to check in with her a little bit, tell her some updates that are coming to the house. Checked on the hot tub and our hot tub guy didn't come, so that's fun. Uh, um, told us that there would be a chlorine floater in the pool. There was no floater, nothing extra at all. So it's hard to find reliable people that you can trust and that's difficult. Anyway, our guests also checked out super late, like an hour late, and but why? locked themselves out of the house and walked to our neighbor's house. So that oh, was fun. Yeah. Our guests locked themselves out. When we were doing the photo shoot, there was no service, and we weren't connected to the Wi-Fi at this <laughs> Airbnb that we were at. And so we had guests checking out. And we thought they had left, but we kept getting notifications. From our ring camera. And we were like, I hope everything's good. Like, we, I was like, weird. He's just like standing outside. But we couldn't see. It was like digitized. So like I couldn't do the two-way speaker because there was no service. service. The people that bought the house across the street messaged us through Airbnb and said, hey, it's You're... your neighbor. Your guests got locked out. And they went on a walk before they checked out and didn't bring their phones with them. Yeah. So they got locked out of the house with no phones, no code. They thought they would have remembered the code to get back in the door. and They didn't. They didn't. But luckily, our cleaner showed up. So it was just like a doozy of a week. Yeah, it was I like think. a straight five days of just like getting pounded by things yeah. left and right. Yeah. But that's the fun of owning a short-term rental. And these are some of the stories that we you know now have to tell to you guys to look out for that maybe three in one week so i guess biggest takeaways right yeah always have your cleaner send thorough photos of under the beds on the side of the vanity like anywhere, anywhere underneath crevices because you don't want a guest trying to take advantage of you if they're just looking for a discount exactly. um and the second takeaway is Make sure you have service at your phone when your guests are checking out because they might lock themselves out. And uh, make sure your calendars are synced. So lessons were learned during this week or two, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Don't do what we did. That's the update. <laughs> Bye. Michael and I went to Luna Sourdough on our way out of the valley, and then we were heading to La Quinta for one more night to spend the night there. And we needed to do a little bit of shopping for our bar reno, so we did that before heading back to LA. To world market for why we're doing lamps we need lamps for this new setup we're doing in the bar room so let's we'll see what show. they got let's see what they got right, i think we got a winner yeah this is gonna be cool yeah this feels like a bar yeah we chose our bar lamp from world market we're obsessed with this guy and we headed back to la bright and early the next morning and had to get started on the next phase of the bar reno. It is raining in LA today. It is Thursday, February 23rd. We are heading to the house tonight. But before we get there, I have to stay on this bench because tomorrow I have to stay in this bench because we are filming stuff at the house and we're trying to get the bar room in order before we start filming because we've been planning on doing this little seating area by the piano. Not sure if we have talked about this, but I'm gonna recap real quick. We are, we've been planning this bar remodel for some time and we haven't wanted to pull the trigger per se because whatever. Anyway, we went to our tax lady and we realized we should be pulling the trigger more <laughs> on things we wanna spend for the house versus saving it. Let's reinvest, reinvest, reinvest. So we are doing that right now and doing this makeover in the bar room. I mean, Finn is on the job. Do you wanna be out here when I start this? The answer is probably not. Snowing in Joshua Tree and Yucca Valley, we were so bummed. What a weird storm this was, but we were so bummed that we missed the first snowfall owning this this house. It's snowed many times here before, but we've never been there to enjoy it. 
at least not together. Michael was there when it flurried a couple months back, but it didn't stick at all. This stuck and I was so jealous. Okay, so this is our new lamp. Hello. Hi, new lamp. We're testing it out That's here. It's so good. It's not the vibe of the room at my parents' house. <laughs> okay, so we're in La Quinta, and tomorrow morning we're driving out to the house. We're not there tonight because... There's a lot of moving pieces to this week. Give me them. <laughs> there is a lot of moving pieces for this next week. Well, it's Thursday right now. <laughs> but for the next Thursday through Thursday, right? So whenever people tell me dates and stuff, I, I just trail off. But stay with me here. So we're at Thursday right now. Through the weekend into next week, it's going to be a doozy. Starting tomorrow. Yeah. And I don't I don't, I don't have the mental capacity to explain it all to you right now. All yes. Yes, but we should explain everything that's going on mm -hmm. tomorrow. Okay. In the car on the way there. We'll do that. Ready? Here's the next day. Round two. What's up, guys? We are on our way to the house from La Quinta. We are going to be upgrading the bar room. I don't think we've really talked to you guys about that. Maybe a little bit here and there, but probably disjointed. Wait, we need to take a moment for these mountains real quick. Hold, please. Oh, wow. What? Might have a better view on the freeway. That's insane. We got so much snow last night. Wow, that's beautiful. We have been wanting to make the bar room more of a lounge because people aren't really hanging out in there, it seems. We never get photos in that room. And we think it's because there's no places to sit. <laughs> yeah, there's literally, you can sit at the bar and then, and then what, you know? Or you eat dinner at the dining room table or you're playing piano, but like there isn't room to sit around the piano. Yeah. So our goal is to make it like a vibey lounge put some chairs in there, a lamp, like some things. And this is something that we've been wanting to do for like a while, but we were just like, ah, you know, it's fine without it. We'll but, get there. But some circumstances that have come up that we are going to be filming some stuff in our house this like, coming week. Like professionally filming. Like, and we'll <laughs> fill you in more on that when we're cleared to by the powers that be. We got a fire lit under our ass and yeah. we pulled the trigger on a lot of purchases that we've been avoiding. We Not figured, avoiding, just putting off for the future. Because we didn't really need to. But yeah. now we're like, okay, if we're gonna be filming, we want it to look like how we, we envision. Want it. Yeah. We've got a whole little setup. Today is Friday. We have guests checking in <laughs> today and they check out and they're in from Friday and they check out on Monday. This filming, this thing that's happening at our house starts on Monday so they check out and then, then our cleaners clean and then we have to be in the house like three hours to later. shoot stuff so we have to go today to set all of this stuff up mind you we have two giant brand new rugs that did not get delivered yet so we will have to do that right before filming on Monday filming on Monday oh. it is now 10 30 we have a couple hours. We had some storms. We had snow. Oh, we missed the snow. And we need to go check on the house, make sure the hot tub's like still working. Make like sure the fence is still up. Make sure the house is still standing. Um, so yeah. let's go. All let's the get things. there. I'm sweating holding this up. My arm is tired, okay? Yeah. Okay, but also we need to come back here tonight because out in the Palm Springs area, they just built this new arena. And tonight we are going to see the Eagles. Oh my God! In concert. So cool. We got tickets for my dad's birthday. Yeah. And I think they're playing Hotel California front to back. So that should be fun. We probably won't Bucket be able list. to share music because of copyright, but we'll post a little bit of footage. There, here's the new arena. 
It looks so small. I know. So we're gonna be doing that tonight. So like like we're saying, this week from Friday to next Friday is just gonna be jam packed with stuff. Uh, buckle in. We got a fun Let's... episode. Yeah. So it's so it's, yeah. We can break this up. Yeah. trash cans <laughs> knocked over. The reed fence is still up, by the way. Yeah. Oh, it's cozy. Is it? Good. She looks good in here. So we just got out of the car and we were just talking about how Verbo has is, been better for us. Has been better for us. We just got a booking for April. For April, which is the end of February right now. So it's working. <laughs> Two nights. And yeah. they're gonna come and document some aesthetic photos and stuff as their photographers. Yeah. So that's cool. We spoke it into existence. I know. Right? Manifesting. Yeah. <laughs> for the house. Looks we so had, good. We had, guys, I was so, like, I didn't want to say it, but I was, like, so worried that something was going to be insanely wrong. Me too. The only thing that's wrong is our hot tub cleaner has not been here. That's not acceptable. What is happening? Okay, so update also about the hot tub guy. We finally called the company and we were like, hey, like, have you been servicing the, the hot tub? Like, you know, I, we don't see a chlorine floater in here and um, we're paying you and all stuff. And the guy was like, no, he's definitely been going. And... We, f we realized that he was coming up the back side of the property and not through the front. And so we're like, oh, okay. Like, that's kind of weird. But um, he had pictures, but all weeks they, they sent us pictures from him servicing it. And then he ended up showing me that he, there's a place in our hot tub to put chlorine tablets. So you don't need a floater. And so we're like, oh, okay. All good things. We were just being over, what, what would you say? Over... No, we were just trying to make sure that everything was okay for our guests. So uh, we asked him to be over communicative with us when they're servicing our house. That's that update as well. So everything was good. We were just kind of freaking out, I guess. But this, the house looks great because we've had storms out here. So yeah, house looks great. We're going to uh, get this popping now. Let's do this. Thankful for our cleaners. Yeah. Then this here. Oh, I like that there's two side tables. I'm wondering if we put this stuff on here and, and the lamp. The lamp there. Hundred percent. Solid. Yep. Just... <laughs> is it cool? It is. It might be cooler on the um, piano Pretty and put sweet. the small one on there. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so this is where we're at right now, right? So we're going to get a new rug in here. Yes. And it will feel so much better. It'll feel cozy and everything because it'll fill in the space. And our bench that we made. We is made. Going there. Yeah. Okay. But let's here. Let's have a seat. Let's have a sit. 